Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Agile Guessing Game. Today, we're not really going to guess that much, but I am going to be asking you a few questions about Scrum. So why don't we get started? Now, when you talk about Scrum, you typically see the image starting off with the product backlog. But how does the product backlog get put together? Well, one way it could get put together is by the business requesting for stuff. The business has needs. And those needs, as you can see here, are funneled through the product owner. Now, let's talk about the product owner. The product owner is accountable for maximizing the value of the product resulting from the work of the Scrum team. Now, how this is done could vary from organization to organization. But the product owner is also accountable for effective product backlog management. So the product owner gets this list of requirements that we call a product backlog, PBL, right? Gets that put into shape by collating the needs from the business, okay? That is a simple way I would like you to think about it. The product owner has a list of what? the business wants, a list of customer needs and requirements. The product owner is also accountable for backlog management, which means developing and explicitly communicating uh, the product goal, creating and clearly communicating the product backlog items, ordering the product backlog items, and ensuring that the product backlog is transparent, visible, and understood. One of the hallmarks of Scrum is user stories. Now, without going into too much detail about user stories, you should know that a user story is typically written in this format. As a, whatever the role is, I want whatever that requirement is so that the reason behind the requirement. As a, I want so that. So think about this as the role, the requirement itself, what you want, and the reason. Why do you want it? When the product owner collects its list of things that the business wants, this is when we begin talking about sprint planning. And sprint planning is one of the scrum ceremonies in which the team, this is a team right here, plans what to accomplish within a time box, a sprint. When we say a sprint, we're talking about a time box. You may also hear the term iteration. So the Scrum team consists of developers, people doing the work, not necessarily coders, but people doing the work, the product owner as well, and the Scrum master. So the team collectively participates in sprint planning. And sprint planning, according to the Scrum Guide, initiates the sprint by laying out the work to be performed for the sprint. This resulting plan is created by the collaborative work of the entire Scrum team. So the entire Scrum team decides what needs to be done within that time box. And through sprint planning, a subset of the product backlog is derived, and that is called the sprint backlog. So you see the sprint backlog right here, and it's a list of what is meant to be done within the sprint. Now, the sprint is typically two weeks in a lot of organizations, but in other firms, it's quicker. Sprints are the heartbeat of Scrum where ideas are turned into value. They are fixed length events of one month or less to create consistency. A new sprint starts immediately after the conclusion of the previous sprint. Now, if you're putting a number on sprints, according to the Scrum Guide of 2020 November, you could say a sprint is anywhere from one to four weeks four weeks or less, but typically two. That is not to say sprints could not be shorter. So the sprint backlog fuels, of course, the sprint, 
And this is where work is done. One to four weeks, usually two weeks. One of the hallmarks of Scrum is the daily Scrum. And the daily Scrum has a purpose to inspect progress towards the sprint goal and adapt the sprint goal as necessary, adjusting the upcoming planned work. The daily Scrum is a 15 minute event for the developers of the Scrum team to reduce complexity. It is held at the same time and place every working day of the sprint. You might also hear this referred to as a daily stand-up meeting. 15 minutes every 24 hours, and three major questions that are asked, I paraphrase them. What did you do yesterday to move towards the sprint goal? What did you do today to move, or what will you do today to move closer to the sprint goal? And are there any impediments or obstacles blocking you? The team continues along the sprint and something else that happens is backlog refinement. That is an unspoken ceremony, but it should happen that the product backlog is refined throughout. Okay, when all is said and done, the team will get to the end, hopefully, of the sprint, and they will derive a potentially shippable increment. You might hear this referred to as PSI, or increment. This could also double as the MVP, minimum viable product. It's the minimum viable product that we need to produce to get enough feedback to understand if we are on track or not. Speaking of knowing if you're on track, one of the things that happens in Scrum is a sprint review or demo. In the sprint review or demo, this is where the customers, the stakeholders, they review the potentially shippable increment. The last thing that happens is a sprint retrospective. The purpose of the sprint retrospective is to plan ways to increase quality and effectiveness. The Scrum team inspects how the last sprint went with regards to individuals' interactions, processes, tools, and their definition of done. Inspected elements often vary within the domain of work. Assumptions that led the team astray are identified and their origins explored. The bottom line is a team is self-inspecting to get better. And the sprint retrospective concludes a sprint. It is time boxed to a maximum of three hours for a one month sprint. For shorter sprints, the event is usually shorter. And that my friends is Scrum in a nutshell. Whenever you are trying to think about Scrum, just think about the three, five, three. There are three roles, the developer, the product owner and the Scrum master. There are five ceremonies or events the sprint, sprint planning, daily scrum, the sprint review, and the sprint retrospective, and there are three artifacts, the product backlog, the sprint backlog, and the increment. I hope this helps explain scrum to you. Remember, it's a big part of what organizations do in the world of agile. In fact, most organizations who say they are agile, 70% of those organizations use scrum. So scrum is important. I hope this helps. You take care. Speak to you soon.